second channel, man, and a beat from the intro is provided by M.E.Z. the Instrumentalist. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpass.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler out to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. And today's reply is to that ASAP Rocky Pretty Flacco 2. And you know what? This track wasn't that damn good, man. Honestly, got subpar production, man. Not really rapping anything on this. Like, the only aspect about it that I kind of did, like, is you can see some progression with him flow-wise. But, honestly, it still does sound like more of the same to me. And this is one thing that I've always wanted to touch on that I never got a chance to. Like, after you get done with your album, and you put that out, and you go on tour, and you finished on tour, what next? Like how the front office and these NFL teams treat these franchises, you did? Because after the season's over, they go and they enjoy life and all that shit, that's cool. But at the same time, they're trying to improve the team by signing new people, cutting some people that they felt they didn't really need, filling up the coaching staff, studying up for the draft, man. They do a lot of shit in order for them to improve the team for the next year. And that's the same thing that rappers need to be doing. Like, okay, you could be finding some new collaborators. You could be finding some new producers. You need to be openly honest about your style and find ways that you can improve, whether it's flow, whether it's lyrics, no matter what. Sure, you go out there and you enjoy your life, man, because that's going to provide you things to rhyme about, man. But ultimately, you still need to be working somewhat so that when you come back ready to fucking work, as it seems ASAP Rocky is, you would actually have improved on a scale that people could actually recognize and shit. And which I really can't put that all on ASAP Rocky yet because this is the first song that I've heard from him since he's gotten back. But still, that's what I wish all rappers would do. But overall, this is a song I say go ahead, check out one time, and then just go on, move on with your life. But anyway, on to ask, download pass. And Josh asks, how is it J. Cole didn't make my top five albums? I'm not saying that the J. Cole album was bad, not by no long shot, man. I definitely still ride to that shit, man. But how I determined my top five is who had the most memorable hits off the albums and who had the most of them. And as I listen to that J. Cole, it rides. It's really good, but the closest thing to it, like an absolute hit that I have to listen to over and over, probably would be the Fire Squad. While there were other projects that dropped this year, man, that had just way more. And Zaxo says, after looking at all of my top fives that I dropped, that I really love South music. And you know, I like South music. I like East music. I like Midwest. I like them all. Now, it definitely does look like I have more of a preference towards the South music, man. But quite honestly, South is where a lot of emerging artists are coming out right now. But I am anxiously anticipating hearing some more Midwest and some West Coast music this year in order to make my damn top five. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.